Greetings, friends. It is week nine. It is the Shadow Hawker self service vending machine of education. And it is a really good time to be looking at the fact we're all in it together. Greetings to the Daywalkers and the Night Stalkers. I am really pleased that you're getting this opportunity to share in the communal love that the Shadow Hawk team has had. And Shadow Hawkers, say hi to your new neighbours. This is when I set out to develop this course and I wrote my design specs before I got given my timetabling. And timetabling said, you're on Monday, Steve, because I'm the one of the few people in the business who doesn't actually care if I get a public holiday. And that's because I've got it covered. So welcome aboard. Here's how it's going to go. We're going to show a couple of the things, Shadow Team. Uh, you're going to see a couple of things that I would normally just do for the live learning. Because there's no live learning event this week, I am going to take the opportunity to run my own uh, images. And yes, moderator and lecturer gets his opportunity. Daywalkers, your logo and slogan for the week is watching the sunrise through the live stream. Night Stalkers, my friends, when the coffee strikes hard, or the Pepsi Max. Team International Time Zone Sleep Pattern. Good evening from Guatemala. And Shadows, my friends, I had to get a pony in eventually. And all hail the Converse All Stars. Boot of choice of MKTG. <laughs> MKTG2032 and boot of choice KTG702. So it is back into the business. Uh, there is no drift this week because we're in it together. For the newcomers, uh, the drift is the fact that these are pre-recorded classes. They've been recorded before the semester commenced. And as a result, things can change and the live events can drift from the core platform that we decided. Or oh. By we, I mean me. Uh, what was built before the start of the So we are here. We are in markets and marketplaces. We are approaching the final phase and the last shift. So a number of activities have come and gone. Uh, the nomination mate system has been and done. The thing that we're up for next is we've got three rounds to bring us home after this. But today, today, the slidos are still out there. The word docs are grabbed from the Waddle site. And what I'm going to ask you to do, now I've been asking you to do a few different reviews. Over the last couple of weeks, since we got you back from the semester break, the review process, if you start to think, oh, Steve, I've already done one of these reviews, we're reviewing different aspects. So first it was, how did the break go against your expectations? The second aspect that we started looking at is, how did it go and how are you going towards a milestone? What we want to look at here is give you a chance to go back to your plan. Go back to that document you gave to me in week four and look at the timeline and look at the timetable and look at the plan and say, how is that plan holding up against reality? Because that's one of the things you're going to discuss in that uh, e-taper. Now, the post-seminar protocol is everybody's on Wattle this week. It's all about the posts. It's all about the padlets. And you're tracking down You've got a, an event here. You've got a moment for the ePortfolio to go and say, well, this was different. So how was it different? Also, once again, Daywalkers, Night Stalkers, welcome to the Shadow Hawker realm. So nice to have you join us. So what I'm going to ask you to do, uh, Shadows, forgive me for a moment. I've just got to explain to the newcomers how things work. We will put a timer on the clock. There will be 10 minutes. Or rather, you've got to put a timer on your own clock. Get your mobile phone out, crack open the timer application, set yourself a countdown timer, 10 minutes. Your task today is to create a new value. And you've got a project. So what we are doing here is that you have an existing product in an existing market. We are commissioning you to do a new product for an existing market. I want you to create something new that you could commercialize or spin out of your project into the same audience that you're currently serving. 
So you can see here is that this is a value offer question. And the reason it's a value offer question is we need this in order to be able to talk about markets and marketplace. So this is about giving everyone a level playing field. If you are currently running a project which is selling things in a market, excellent, this will be a fun week for you. If you're doing a project that doesn't actually have something in the market or a marketplace, here's your chance. And I want you to think about in terms of what could you create? I don't know, maybe a branded mug, maybe some merchandising uh, shirt with a logo on it. Think about what can you spin out? And this is where we start interweaving. You've got the ideas from the value proposition and the product. You've got the ideas from distribution. What would work for you to make. And how it will work is it will be 10 minutes on your timer. Your timer should begin now and please take a moment to pause the video until... Welcome back! So you've created for yourself a new product, a new value offer. First of all, obviously up in the forums, what's an offer? What's the, what's the new thing? What's the spin-off? What's the value add? What's the, what's... Tell us about it, talk it through on the forums. The next thing now is I want you to go do this task again. And I want you to do this with the physical object in mind. So you are going to produce a thing. Now it could be a custom mug from produced at the ANU. It could be a custom mug produced for the ANU. However it goes, it's a physical object. Because you need to then consider three questions. And it's gonna be a 12 minute exercise, time on the clock, roughly four minutes a piece, two phase decision. With a physical object, what is your preference? How do you want to do this? Your own sales site or a third party hosted? So you're, when we talk about your own sales site, we're talking about a Shopify account, we're talking about setting something up on your own website. If we're talking about a third party, we're talking about brokering through Amazon, we're talking about going through eBay, we're talking about hosting up on Etsy. Second question is, is do you want this to be print on demand? Or do you want this to be something where you pre-purchase 250 of them and stock them up in your room and mail them out when they're ready? And third, given what you're currently doing and those decisions you've just made, what would it look like if you were to actually go ahead and make a physical? Finally, there is the question in here of what's the marketing thought process in play in doing this? What are the marketing theories, frameworks and ideas that tidy this whole framework? Now to make this happen, as we do, Please set your timers to 12 minutes. My friends, your time begin your timer begins now. Pause the tape and I'll... welcome back. It's nice to see you again. I hope that exercise was entertaining for you. It certainly would have been challenging. One of the things about distribution theory is that quite often it's the one we overlook. We skip past because it's boring, it's not the thing. If you struggled here, it's okay. The idea is then you go Right, what's that theory? And you've got time now to go research it. You've got time to go look things up, query things, go back through your old notes, go back through your new notes, and start the conversation. Get out into the thread and say, well, what's at what's play here? What, what are the decisions we're making as marketers? What is it that describes what we're doing? And this exercise is here to help you get into the mindset and do the rehearsal training for some of the questions that are in the performance review. Third thing I want you to do is I want you to do another tracker event. But this is twofold. I want you to do a tracker event as your project, but I also want you to look at your platform. I want you to think about your platform as a marketplace or a market space. You are distributing a product to an audience through a platform. Your value proposition is dependent on this distribution channel. As the user of this distribution channel, how's it going? How are you on track? Are you on targeted goals? How are your expectations? Are they what you thought they would be? I, I want you to start reflecting on some of that and particularly thinking about this platform now as a market. It could be a marketplace for an idea, for an experience, for physical good. I think if you're on Facebook, what is your value proposition? Is it an idea? If you're in Tumblr, what's your value proposition? And how is Tumblr working for you as a distribution player? So that's what we're looking for this round is what were your expectations from the outset and how has it gone against those expectations? 15 minutes onto the timer and start your timer, pause the video and I will see you 
Welcome back. We're back in the business. It is back underway. And again, that's a big one. That's a, that's a really tough question that I've asked you. And I've asked you that because I want you to, at this point, week nine, to really start interrogating some of these ideas of what did I think was going to happen against what is actually happening? What are the different? And remember, different is the question. What's the similarity? What's not what's gone better, not what's gone worse. What's gone as I expected, what's gone different to expectation. Critical mindset training here is that if it's gone, say you wanted to make 100 pieces of content and you're currently sitting on the completion of piece 150, I want you to explain what went horribly right that enabled you to create way more than you anticipated. If you're on 50 pieces and you were targeting 100, I want you to be able to explain why you're 50 points behind. What is of interest to me is to train a generation of marketers who look at a result and go, success doesn't get written off as, oh, <laughs> that was lucky, <laughs> off we go. Failure, oh, well, we're gonna cut this apart a dozen times over. I want you to look at success with the same view of, did we expect it? If it's unexpected, what can we learn by understanding it? How did things go different to expectation? What can that do to teach us how to do better expectations? So, my friends, it's big week on the forum for you all. Uh, catch, chat to each other. Shadows, nice, shadows, daywalkers, daywalkers, night stalkers, night stalkers, shadows, shadows, everyone, everyone, everyone. Uh, see you all on the Padlet as well. Uh, make good use of that this week because it's your time to interact. And as always, if you need me, you can reach me on the consultation platforms. I'm going to say the Monday appointment's probably not so useful. And all right, check the consultations. There'll be some late week consultations available to you since Monday's out and this thing didn't release until Wednesday. Oh, well. that's the session. And uh, day walkers, night stalkers, see you at the live learning next week. And uh, shadows, thanks for being generous hosts. Uh, for this week nine, everybody's a shadow. Everybody's in the shadows. Shadow Hawker edition. Cheers, mates.